This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. International experts on combating nuclear terrorism or smuggling are in town for the next few days conducting a counter-nuclear smuggling workshop with local law enforcement agencies. Interpol, or the International Criminal Police Organization, is making a global effort to ensure and strengthen nuclear security for member states. Acting Commissioner of Police, Emmerich Seymour. I submit to you that no country is safe or exempted from the ravages of the terrorism in any capacity. No country. Notwithstanding the apologetic nature of our country, with its porous borders, you know, we're wide open to any and every possibility. We are still grateful and thankful for the peace and safety we currently enjoy. Many countries around the world cannot boast this, are not as fortunate, and therefore as trends in terrorism become more intricate and technical, it behoves each country to take strategic, preventative, and corrective measures to remain several steps ahead of the terroristic advances. This counter-nuclear smuggling workshop will allow us in the Bahamas to do just that. Remember, acts of terrorism and elements of criminality knows no boundary. Specialized officer in the Radiological and Nuclear Terrorism Prevention Unit of the CBRNE Subdirectorate, Radtech Havlavka says the aim is to prevent radioactive materials from getting into the wrong hands. Nuclear security is a global problem. There is no one country that would be able uh, to solve or resolve the, nuclear, uh, the problem of nuclear security itself. Uh, protection and security of radioactive sources and efforts in combating illicit trafficking with radioactive material is always an international effort that all countries uh, need to cooperate, contribute to, in order to make it uh, more, more effective. Now, 33 participants from national security agencies from public and private sectors will over the next three days be taught how to detect and intercept smuggling of radiological and nuclear materials as well as to organize a cohesive unit to counter the smuggling of radioactive materials across international borders. A week after that double homicide on the property of the Sandals, Sandalands Rehabilitation Center followed by another in Jubilee Gardens, Acting Police Commissioner Seymour gave reporters this update on where those investigations stand. I can tell you that we are making significant, significant lead in, um, in both of them. And uh, I'm sure that given our trajectory pretty soon, we should be able to come to you to give you some more information that we are here, we are in fact resting still in those investigations. Now as for the fear of crime, Mr. Seymour concurring with the sentiments of the Prime Minister. One of the things that you, you heard say from time to time is that the amount of crimes that are happening are caused by a small percentage of our population. And so the vast majority of behavior people are they are, they, are, they, are, they are determined not to um, cause these elements of criminality to, 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 to wreak havoc in, on the wider community. We're getting that in, in um, 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 every day from members of the public. And, um, you know, and so that fear will continue to, to minimize because as crime starts to go down, and of course, as they see, the, as they see what we are ruling out, um, they can go about their business as usual, uh, you know, without fear of being a victim of crime. And so, yeah, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are pretty sure that the fear of crime is in fact um, 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 decreasing across the government council. Mr. Seymour attributed the reduction in crime and other such successes to the commissioner's policing 2018 plan. Tourism officials want to keep the momentum going over in Grand Bahama. This, as the central bank's latest monthly report indicates, that the island showed improvement recovering from its huge decrease in 2017 of 39.5 percent, and this despite ongoing challenges in room capacity following the closure of several hotels due to hurricane damage. Making further inroads call for continuing the island's online marketing and rebranding. Officials will also work with advertising agencies promoting the Grand Lucayne Resort to generate additional room occupancy. Now, Bahamas Air's summer airlift program will offer four-night rotations from several U.S. getaways beginning May 2019 
through August that same year. Zoe Lady Maynard lauded today as a matriarch, a pillar of strength who worked tirelessly in public life. This from the opposition leader in the wake of Lady Maynard's death Monday morning. She was 92. A supporter of the progressive movement, the party thanks her for her selflessness in her support role in sharing Sakrem with us. Appreciative of the inherent associated challenges and the toll public life places on family life. In her own right, she was a freedom fighter, particularly for women's rights and in the arts. She followed the footsteps of her own dear mother, Meta Davis Kamavach, as a patron and supporter of the arts and artists. Mr. Davis also expressed condolences to the family of Reverend Ed Allen, a founding pastor of Abundant Life Church, whose passing, he says, marks the end of an era. Our party always appreciated his strong biblical teachings and principles. He gave sound advice and counsel. He was a good example of going through the storms of life with dignity and grace. He was a trusted confidant and a family relation of our former leader, Perry Christie. The Bahamas is better off for his living amongst us. A massive resurrection celebrating Lady Maynard's life will be held at St. Matthew's Anglican Church on Wednesday at 3 p.m. A check on sports and weather up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.